Hi guys, a happy Sunday. I hope you're all really well. Um, first of all, thank you for all of your comments on last week's video. It was seemed really popular, so thanks for that. Everyone loves a bit of coral. And thanks to all my new subscribers. If you haven't already, click subscribe now. I don't want you missing out on anything. Um, but the reason I'm, I've got, uh, it's almost like a nervous, not in my tummy and that's because I'm excited to share with you a UK exclusive today and that is you guys are getting the very first sneaky peek at these retouching pencils and we are doing a launch with John Lewis. So for the month of August, before anyone else, you will be able to purchase the Bobbi Brown retouching face pencil. Let me double check that. Yes, retouching face pencil. When I was doing some filming with um, Holly, hi Holly, and the gang from John Lewis, I kept saying it wrong. So it took quite a few takes. Retouching face pencil has obviously now sunk in. So for the month of August, as I said, you can exclusively buy these fabulous retouching pencils in any Bobbi Brown studio within John Lewis and on the John Lewis website. How very exciting! Um, so exciting for everybody, particularly exciting for those of us in the makeup industry because Bobbi made them to create that retouched finish on the skin. As you all know, Bobbi is um, a huge advocate of natural looking skin, but when she first started as a makeup artist, there was no such thing as digital photography or working from a monitor. It was Bobbi had to select her photos by painstakingly looking through each negative in a light box to see which photos look best um, and then so obviously there's a lot of work going into creating brilliant looking skin because she couldn't look at the monitor as I would do on a photo shoot and be able to tweak how the makeup was translating on camera um, but also she was kind of baffled when she realized that actually all those lovely shots that she idolized and was trying so hard to emulate had all been retouched anyway so the idea of these pencils is that you can create that beautifully retouched finish without having to use a filter uh, hashtag no filter required how fun so the joy is you can use these pencils on a naked skin if you so wish so if you're going away let's say and you don't want to carry kind of big bottles of foundations or even your skin foundation stick you can simply take your skin tone correct retouching pencil the illuminate say what the Illuminate retouching pencil, which I will come on to in a second, and maybe if you wanted to, a deeper tone of retouching pencil, which you could use as a skin bronzer. So I'm gonna show you on me how I would do it to myself, and I think I will use these pencils more as a um, skin perfecter once I've done my makeup, but also as a kind of throughout the day touch up. The reason these are brilliant for a throughout the day touch up is because they are a cream to powder finish. So they very much give like a matte finish once applied. So whereas previously you might have used a foundation stick and a powder, actually you'll just need your retouching face pencil. So exciting. So the retouching face pencils come in nine skin tone correct shades plus the illuminating colour. However, quick aside, I've hunted high and low and I can't find my light retouching face pencil. Maybe Simon borrowed it, slash stole it, I don't know, but um, I can't find it. So I'm going to be one retouching pencil short. But wait, before I crack on, sorry guys, this is really wordy, bear with me, bear with me, stay with me. Very excitingly, on the 3rd of August, in John Lewis West 1, that's John Lewis on Oxford Street, I and the rest of the pro team will be there for the day for an exclusive event looking at the retouching face pencils. So if you would like to come and meet me and Amy Conway and Labros and Ashley and the beautiful Marianne, come and see us. 
John Lewis, Oxford Street on Wednesday the 3rd of August. Got it. Okay, so let's start looking at some of these pencils, shall we? So let's start with, these were in order. Now I fiddled with them. So we have the porcelain, extra light, light, <laughs> light to medium, medium to dark, dark, deep and rich. And possibly my favourite, thus quite used, apologies chaps, the Illuminate. I have done um, a bit of just skin foundation stick with my normal corrector and concealer as per normal. Um, what I'll do though is I'll use some of the deep retouching pencil to add a bit of warmth to my skin. Um, as you will know, I love a little bit of bronzer. So, taking the retouching face pencil, I'm just going to do a couple of stripes over the top of my cheekbone, and as you can see, up into my temple. And then with my pad, with the pads of my middle fingers, I'm just going to press that into the skin for an instant, beautifully matte, very quick touch of warmth. See, so pretty. Of course I need to do the top of my forehead as well. So again, taking my retouching face pencil in deep, I'll just swatch a little, just through the top of the forehead. So really emulating where the sun would naturally hit. Then again with the pads of my fingers, just tap the product in. And it's this tapping motion that I find to be the most successful. So you bounce over the product and it helps just to melt it into the skin. As it is a cream to powder finish, it's a little too dry to brush or drag. So just bounce your fingers over. Oh, it's so pretty. And then because um, I like it, I do a tiny bit on the tip of my nose, purely because I love it when the sun has caught the tip of my nose. Great, let me warm up the other side. There we go. So a, a really pretty add of warmth to my skin using the deep retouching face pencil. Now to retouch through the center of my face and maybe to highlight under my eyes, I'd want to use my skin tone correct shade. If you would like some help finding your skin tone correct shade or your warmer shade for that matter, do go to your nearest Bobbi Brown in John Lewis throughout the month of August and an artist will help you find them. So I'm going to use the light to medium and I'll use it through the centre of my face or anywhere that I'd like to slightly perfect. So on me, that would be just here, through the inner corner of the nose, over the chin where I get some high colour and actually just here through my brows. Let me come a bit closer. In fact, let me do the other side so you can see. <laughs> These are the key areas um, that I would probably want to retouch. Throughout the day, I often get high color on my chin and also here down the side of my nose. And um, also possibly, let's say, around the inner corner of the nose. So again, using the pads of my two middle fingers, 
I'll just pat the pencil into the skin to eliminate any high colour, create a pretty matte finish and give my skin that incredible retouched finish. No filter required. How's the skin looking? Am I achieving that retouched finish? I think so. Um, of course it goes without saying that these are great for use under the eye as a quick top up. So simply go over your concealer, go right into the inner corner of the eye and blend. Oh, I love it. I mean, I could get carried away. <laughs> okay, gosh. So, in in my view, obviously I've got the camera here and I've got a little tiny side monitor there. And in the side monitor, I've got to say, my skin is looking pretty blown out. And that is exactly what these wonderful retouching face pencils are for. Any of you out there who are a fan of the Valencia filter on Instagram, here it is in a pencil. So on to my favourite and that is the beautiful Illuminate pencil which does kind of what it says, it gives the skin a stunning luminosity. So one of my favourite ways of applying it is here just straight direct under the brow bone to give that gorgeous highlight and really help lift the brow. Onto the top of the cheekbone. So it catches the light and lingers and bounces and reflects light. A little bit of strobing. In the inner corner of the eye. and a little on the cupid's bow. Okay, so my skin has been warmed, retouched, and highlighted with the retouching face pencils, let me finish with a little bit of blush just on the apple of the cheek. And I'm going to use the pink brightening brick. Simply sweep a sheer powder brush over the colors, smile and dust onto the apple of the cheek. So there we go, my skin has been retouched with the retouching face pencil. I use the light to medium through the centre of my face to even out my skin tone. I use the deep to warm through the higher points of my face and the illuminate under my brow bone, on my cheekbones in the corner of my eye to illuminate. Ooh and who could forget my Cupid's bow. If you've ever suffered with a rosacea, then these are great for concealing any high color that might come through your makeup, or if you suffer with blemishes, and um, these really are super handy, portable, cream to powder, semi-matte finish, retouching pencils. And something Bobby said was that with these, what you can create is long lasting, all day, undetectable coverage. Brilliant. Well, I hope you enjoyed your insight and your little preview of <laughs> the brand new face retouching pencils exclusive to John Lewis for the month of August. 
do come and see me and the rest of the pro team on the 3rd of August in John Lewis. I'm so excited to meet you, can't wait. Come on down and say hi. And in the meantime, guys, take care and I shall see you soon. Hashtag no filter required.